can't get the layer so I can see what I'm supposed to do. Welcome everyone. Uh, thank y'all so much for coming out today to come into the time of heart. Uh, man, this is a long time getting to this spot. So, but like I said, I just really wanted to uh, welcome everyone today. Uh, we're going we're gonna to eat at what, about 1230? I think we're going to be supposed to eat. Uh, so we're going to make this announcement that we're going to get some, some gifts and then we'll have a lot of After we introduce Norman Miller. With a long time. Stand up, Norman. Long time chief of rep for this company and a good friend to Tony and our family uh, during that time. So we appreciate you for going. Ed has made it yet. We'll, we'll get him a little bit later on. 28 years. 28 years, Tony said, association between those two. And a lot of miles on the road together. A lot of big time stuff. Right? <laughs> Anyway, uh, with, with that, I would like if you would please uh, David Hopkins, who's come from uh, my dad's pastor, I would ask that he would come uh, say grace for us, and we'll get started today. All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. You have created this day for uh, just your glory, and uh, for us to honor uh, Tony and all the years that he spent in service here. We thank you that what you tell us in your word in uh, Romans 13, 7, to give honor to whom honor is due. So we do that right now, Lord. We're just fulfilling what you want us to do. So we thank you uh, for the years of service um, that Tony's provided this uh, company and all the, the clients and all those who've been blessed through his, uh, his leadership and his service. So we thank you for that. We thank you that you have worked through uh, their family's life in this uh, company. Lord, we thank you for what you're going to do in the next uh, chapter of their life, Lord, and how they're going to continue to, to serve you in other areas. Lord, we thank you for the food that's being prepared. We thank you for all that has gone into this day. Lord, we turn all this back to you in honor and glory. We thank you, Jesus, for it. We pray that you bless this food to our body and our bodies continue to serve you and others. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to have to do a little bit of improvising because Ed Cord and Norman Sidekick over there is not here yet. So I am going to start off with um, the office staff and the outside sales staff. Would y'all come up here, please? What? 
better to go with a lid for a whiskey barrel than a whiskey barrel. <laughs>
non-disclosure. Tell you about something. Tony and I had signed a non-disclosure agreement. Never discuss what went on in the room. Probably probably never did anything illegal or moral. Probably were stupid. But not none of the above. Probably think about it. And the only other thing I a little story about Tony. We were doing a motor audit at Cargill, and uh, we had to climb all kinds of things. I don't know if you've ever seen the Daniel. It's like a conveyor belt that never stops turning. Jump on it with one hand, you got a little foot in school, about this big, you got to put it on there, and then when you get to the floor, you got to jump off. Well, I had done it once before. I knew I was never going to do it again. So I kind of told him to do it. And he went up and I did some other stuff. When he came down, it was the whitest I had ever seen him do it. He never, ever was going to go up with that thing again. I mean, these were, they were just, I don't know how they got away with doing it. But he, he doesn't want to stop him. Yeah, he can go right over the top. <laughs> and, 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 so we, uh, we had a few trips to say. So we were like, oh, we'll talk about that later. Anyway. And I was going to talk about Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
we, we talk about chapters in our lives, and this is definitely starting a new chapter for Tony. You know, it's just writing the finish for one, and it's the beginning of another one. You know, start tomorrow. So, uh, so part of, I'm, here's why I'm looking forward to keep your time. It doesn't have anything to do with what you did down here. Uh, my brother and I have, I'm telling you, we block horns down here before, no doubt about it. But when we're away from you, when we're gone from industrial electric, when we're gone from the piece of rock, we're brothers, we're brothers. That's what I look forward to most, is your time. I don't want to be a business partner anymore. I'm ready to be your brother. <laughs> Tony basically grew up together. He's older than I am. I've been asked three times to speak at a function like this, and you're the only one that survived here. So, uh, uh, <coughs> you know, a relationship to the vendors, and all of y'all are vendors out here in town. We depend on each other. The one thing that Tony always did for any good way, we were business partners. He brought business to us, we brought business. Uh, Tony knew everything that was happening out in the business world in the big uh, But I've got the utmost respect for your community family. And uh, one of the things I wrote my letter about Tony set the bar high for the, the employees to be believing. But the bar was set high for Mr. Tom, his father, and he got uh, I grew up with Mr. Tom and his wife in the high-level church. You know, we can't all have this when we retire, but we can, we can inspire to it, you know. I, I'm really proud of you, William, yourself, William, all of y'all, Adam, the whole thing. Uh, what a great man, what a great person, what a great honor. Another half to go with this. I'm not going to retire this. It goes along with my Daniel Farm hat. But uh, anyway, I'll try to get a new hat. So thank you, Tony, for what you've done, your friendship, your family. Uh, we do a lot of places together, cattle and horses and Fayetteville, Arkansas. So uh, thank you for being a good friend and a good investment advisor. look around and see all the customers and family and friends it's, it's a real testimony to, to Tony and the family here um, but uh, you know I met Tony about a year and a half ago and he uh, he told me this day would come but I really didn't think it would come this quick where is Tony there he is okay that, that'd be the vision yeah um, but I really honestly this has been the fastest year and a half I think uh, I, can, I can remember. But, you know, the thing I admire about Tony the most is he's a relationship guy. And the fact that he has so many customers here just really uh, kind of states that in, in spades. You know, Tony's told me many times, he said, if you take care of the people, the people will take care of your business. And I think uh, he, if I look all across IPS, uh, this is the best example of that uh, being absolutely how he has how he's grown his business. Um, so you know, I know this is bittersweet for all of us. It's bittersweet for Tony, I know. Uh, but uh, you know, if you look around the room, there's people who have known Tony for two years. There are people who have known Tony for 50 years. But I think all of us would agree that. You know, we're all better off by having having known Tony and having him in our lives. I know I am. But uh, so thank you for being here today. Thank you for helping us celebrate Tony's uh, retirement. You know, I do want to thank the staff of Meridian. They've done a fantastic job of putting this together, Gail and the team. So I uh, really appreciate that. This is extremely well done. But I don't get to talk to the employees of Meridian very often as a group. So I do want to uh, thank you guys. You know, one of the things that we're going to do today is, is celebrate the, the end of integration for 
for uh, IEMW and the IPS. And I tell you, this team, we've thrown a lot at you, um, but there's never been, uh, you know, a, a one minute of backing up. You guys have, have taken so many changes and you've always asked, well, how's this going to impact our customers? And I think, you know, that says a lot for the, for the business that, that the McDaniels family has put together. The people that they've hired and nurtured here, but I've just been really pleased to see how this team has really pulled together and gotten us through this this integration. So thank you guys for that. I, I appreciate that. I've enjoyed getting to know you. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to John Webb. Uh, most of you know John. He's our senior vice president of sales and marketing, and he's became a good friend of Tony. So I wanted him to speak. Thank you, Stuart. Uh, it's really nice to be here to celebrate Tony. And to all of the customers out there, on behalf of IPS, we want to say thank you for your business. Uh, you know, we're nothing without the customers, and we, we try never to forget that. I just want you to know how much we thank you. Uh, to Norman and Ed and Tony, we were with Toshiba last weekend, and I want you to know big time selling is still going on at Toshiba. <laughs> they, they actually talked about it, so I think you guys have left quite the legacy. So. I've been selling for 35 years, and there's not very much that scares me. But I know one guy I wouldn't want to sell against, and that's my friend Tony McDaniel. And we love all the people and all the companies that we've been able to, to purchase and bring into the integrated power services family. And you, you probably don't ever really develop uh, favorites so much. But from the first day that I met Tony, he just became my buddy. And I think it's because we, we sell from the same spirit and we had a lot to talk about. And, and I'm gonna miss him. And I finally got to make a sales call with him yesterday and that will be the highlight of the year. Uh, and, and we got the order. <laughs> so I know we got some baseball fans here Congratulations to the University of Mississippi for winning the college world series. So I'm going to set the stage here for this award. Uh, it's always dawned on me, if you're a position player in the major leagues, and you play for 15 seasons, and if you're close to a 300 batting average, you're going to get consideration for the Hall of Fame. Think about that. And then think about how that relates and correlates to selling. You're a major league player, the best there is, and you failed seven out of ten times. And you went to the Hall of Fame. That's selling. And I say this to all the young people that I get to talk to and mentor. It's not about the wins. The best sellers never worry about the no. Because the next one, they're going to get a hit. And that's what makes a great seller. And what you really learn after you get going at it is when you hear somebody tell you no, I love to hear no now. Because then you get to start asking questions. And that's how you win. And so I'm going to introduce John Zuber here. I'm going to ask him to help me. Come up here, Tony. So, in recognition of Tony, would you mind presenting that to Tony? We've got a special award. Tony is now in the Sales Hall of Fame. Where do I get a jacket like that? I, I want that jacket. It won't fit me. It won't fit half of me, but I want one like that. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's, I think it was day one the last time I was here. Right? Steven? Uh, 
back in the other room, what a journey it has been. Our journey, though, really didn't begin with the McDaniel family then. It's the first time we interfaced as IPS, expressing an interest to acquire the McDaniel family's uh, legacy, really, uh, was 2014. And God rest his soul, Dave Cortello was somewhat a lot like Tony and Steven. You know, grew up in the industry decades with it. And uh, it was just an introduction. And for whatever reason, you know, the McDaniel family was inviting to Dave. Unfortunately, Dave passed away unexpectedly a couple years later. But that planted a very important seed, right? That, yes, we were... Uh, a larger company with locations around the United States, but there was something about this company that was really important for us to know more and better understand. And maybe, just maybe, someday, we have an opportunity to acquire them and, and add the McDaniels as our partners. And um, I think as we began to learn more about the business, from 14 through his... Uh, what was it, 19 when we acquired, right? 20? 19. 20? November 20? Yeah, that's right. We were still wearing masks, were we? Yeah, even in Mississippi we were. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, first of all, the employees, the talent, really stood out. And, and I say that with the perspective that I have of at the time having, you know, around 30 motor shops around the country. And you can kind of tell that the talent's there by the signature of, you know, everything, right? What you observe, including this, this big open bay, you know, which I know the McDaniels would say, if it weren't for the talent of the employees over decades, continuing to help support the family build the business, a space like this probably doesn't exist. And I have to tell you, there aren't many spaces in the country where a space like this exists in our whole industry. So I just want to just pause and say, really reflecting on the whole McDaniel family, two generations of a lot of hard work and leadership and the work of your employees, you know, congratulations. It takes a leap of faith to sell the IPS. <laughs> and it takes uh, a curiosity, I would say, about when I say, hey, you want to be my business partner or our business partner? What, what does that all entail? And I have to say about Tony, you know, we've acquired several entrepreneurial businesses, but he is by far the standout, best example of a kind of business partner you really want to have in a situation where you're a company and, and, and you're taking over an entrepreneurial business with a lot of dedicated employees. And you know, that day one, I said, Tony, just get us off to a good start, right? And the whole idea was it's change, you know, there's a lot of change, this is new, change is sometimes scary, it's the unknown. And Tony stood up on day one and you know, speaking on behalf of the McDaniel family, really expressed why they decided to sell, but also said some words that made him a great business partner to us. Here's why we chose IPS. And then the rest was, was up to us, but the effort to be a business partner wasn't over because this thing called integration was coming. And I just want to say to all the employees, um, Thank you for enduring, you know, the integration process. And to our business partner, Tony and Stephen, thank you for explaining the why to everyone. Uh, we couldn't be happier with the whole experience. We couldn't be happier with the talent that we've been able to retain since we acquired. You, you all have given us the chance to prove ourselves. We've got to keep proving ourselves. I think we appreciate that, that's fair. Uh, Tony and Steven explained why along the way and have put us in a, in a really a terrific, terrific position as a company here at Meridian, Mississippi. 
there are several things that go on here that really make Meridian a center of excellence. That's the way we look at Meridian. Certainly, things that stand out are, you know, the distribution business is extraordinary. The, the craftsmen and craftspeople, I should say, of the machinists, winders, and mechanics that work here is phenomenal. And then, you know, since we came together, you know, the vision of building our panel shop uh, and really taking the next step of growth there. So, what a partner you've been, Tony. We couldn't have asked for more. And I know part of the plan was today. Like, you had a lot of care about who was going to own this company and what was going to happen next. And I hope you feel, you know, we've lived up to the commitment just like you lived up to it with us. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Greg Rose. Greg has recently been named the new leader here at IPS Meridian. Greg? Sorry, I'm a little late to the program. Tony, could you come up here? To commemorate you know, the terrific partnership we've had, I wanted to give you this special thanks on behalf of all of IPS. Uh, it's something to be enjoyed in your retirement, and I hope you take, make full use of it. So thank you, partner. All right, thank you. Um, what a humbling experience it is for me uh, that have been chosen to replace Mr. McDaniel. And I, I get teary-eyed when I think about that. Um, it's been a, a great experience. I met Tony a little over a year ago and left here and I called one of my counterparts uh, within IPS. I thought this is the best business model I've seen. And I've been in this business myself 42 years. And my next comment was, I hope we don't mess it up. So, uh, you know, fast forward to, to this year, uh, I, I can't thank every, all the employees, the staff, the McDaniel family uh, has been incredible uh, in, in passing the torch, if you will. Uh, still got a couple of them hanging in here. Hello? Okay. Uh, Stephen, uh, he's got a reputation for being a little bit gruff, but he... Uh, He's really not. He's a great guy. He really is. Uh, but uh, yeah, I know he don't want to pass that along. But uh, you know, we've got Adam Miller, uh, you know Tony's son-in-law, and then we've got William. And I just, uh, man, I look so forward to working with you guys and and continuing to grow this business and to continue that McDaniel legacy. Thank you. No delay, Tony McDaniel. Thank y'all. I want to thank everybody for being here today. I mean, seeing this tribe folks out here speaks volumes. And I just can't thank y'all all enough for being here today. And I got a few things I do want to say, and I got a few people I want to say. Okay, can you do better now? Okay. First and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for saving my soul so many years ago and healing me from cancer in 2017. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be standing here. And I didn't get to him. He left me for 66 wonderful years on this earth and a wife of 45 years. We made it to November 45 years, and I want to thank my wife for all the missed birthday parties and all the missed holidays and stuff because I was in there commanding this one phone call changed my whole day, my whole weekend. And, and she understood. She understood that how we made our living. She was great support and all that. And I want to thank my children for this, you know, not you know, keeping me in the room for missing your birthday party or missing whatever I've been in school. And I thank you all for that. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do better with my grandchildren. That's, that's one of the reasons I chose to go ahead and retire, is my grandkids. And um, 
you know, I had, when I was fighting cancer, and I had to go up over the figure, I had somebody ask me, said, um, are you scared of dying? And I said, no, because I know where I'm going to go when I die. But I want to see my grandchildren grow. I want to see them graduate. I want to see them, I want to sit on the front row when they get married. And that's what I'm living for. And uh, I just want to, I just want to say And I you know, thank my wife for all the stuff that you put up here. And thank you, Jeff. I love it. And I want to thank my customers and vendors that are here. It, it just means so much to me to see y'all sitting out here. Uh, I know y'all hungry and ready to get at it. My friends, Bonnie, Cindy, Stephen, Beth, uh, Freddie Corbett, and others that came today. I just want to thank y'all so much. It means a lot to see y'all here today. And I just can't thank y'all all enough. And everybody's been talking about me, and I am, I, I tried to be aggressive in my sales, but I was nothing without the employees of Industrial Electric and IP. I mean, I, every time I saw Mark Bullen, He'd jump on it, we'd take care of the customer. I could call anybody in this room to work for IPS and they're always willing to help. And I was nothing without them. And I want to give them a round of applause. Thank y'all. Thank you. Y'all all made this day possible. And thank y'all very much. And thank you for all everybody being here today. And I think we got a, a little bit out of seat. I was supposed to introduce you, David, for prayer. Stephen got a little ahead of himself, but we've already had the blessing. But I want, I want to say this about Highland Baptist Church. You know, we have a few openings for members there. And if anybody needs a church home, if you get there in a hurry, we'll, we'll probably sign you up. And I'm teasing about that. That's the way you say it. You only think you've got a few things left there when people are back. But we got plenty of openings at Highland Baptist Church. Right, David? Okay. And, um, I know we got a, a good meal planned for everybody, and um, thank you all for listening to me, and, and God bless you all. Thank you very much.